Finally, 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 though, of course, we're back with another pretty quick um, Dokumata video. We do get the new ETA area, of course, for the number six units. Uh, a lot of the game and stuff like that. Um, I think I make a quick video going over them and stuff like that. Of course, it's really late at night for me. I don't know why. I'm like, I'm really not tired right now. I know it was like almost one o'clock for me, but I'm really not tired right now. I don't know why. I'm just not, though. But we did get some new info, like I say right here. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go over the info really quick though. Of course, um, I, yeah, probably like, it's been too too long on it because we've only got like three here, but even though I'd like to tend to go on a lot for my videos, maybe it was like solve time or whatever. I just, um, I didn't say WB, I thought, I thought that said WBBA. This is WNBA, which is um, for WBBA means um, for babe, it's basically for babe play. That got me kind of got me confused down there a little bit though. Um, but yes, though, um, I don't want to go for all the juice, though, really. Because my lights, okay, yeah, I, I was like, wait, are my lights on in the background? Um, my, my face cam, like, it, it lights out, it's, it's there's not, like, enough light. It, it, it looks like it's light, for you guys, it's probably okay for me, yellow light as heck. Um, but in videos, it kind of, it fixes up a little bit, though, so, um, yeah, can't be trying to fix it now. But, um, yeah, though, of course, typical easy area rules and stuff like that, of course. Pretty simple, pretty easy to kind of cover and go over. Um, like I said, though, of course, we got an easy is for, it's easy area, so it's all free to play. For this cabo right here, of course, Tech One has been a long time coming after like it. Uh, Super, Super Saiyan 2 Kalifa and of course Kale. Um, but yeah, they're all pretty decent though. They actually, look, again, they pretty much kind of like updated it just a little bit. I saw Cabo's a little bit. Pretty much updated his a little bit. Kale and Kalifa are probably the same as well. Because when they first got these Awakenings, I remember when they first came out, they were insane. I mean, they kind of did age up a little bit. Again, they are free to play units, so I'm not saying it's hard to understand or whatever, but I kind of get it. In a sense, I do kind of get it though there. Um, but at the same time, though, um, let's take a bit. At the same time, again, they're free play units and stuff like that. You gotta understand that. But they are actually pretty decent, though. Again, it's just a little bit of upgrade. This, with every UTA has been kind of nowadays, upgrading the falls and stuff like that. Perfect example I can probably bring up is physical equipment that's coming to global. It comes recording. He's not on global, but he probably will. Whenever I upload this, I've, I've been doing so many videos. It's kind of hard to like to kind of tell which one they're bringing out next because there's just so much stuff going on. Um, I actually do. Re I did the King Parts reaction for Smash. I'm having to re-record that. I don't know. I thought like I might re-record that, or because I really wasn't satisfied with it, I might re-record it just to come up with thoughts and stuff like that properly. Um, whenever I get the chance to. But um, yeah. Um. Of course, we got all, all the changes for them. Um, I'm trying to think. I would, I know, I know we have all the quality units and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna go over how to unlock it and stuff like that. Of course, these are all the stages that you need for all the characters. That's all typical. Um, every stage you need one of these characters, even though you probably use them all because of the skills and stuff like that. It's either like Rapper Crow or Universe X or Universal Evolve Saga. So because that team got so much buff last year. No, no, this year and yeah, this year and last year makes sense because you know they're starting off it. So of course, for the left path for Z hard, you get it from times two for bronze. Um, for left path, you get two. You get two. Or you get two or three. It's a random though, so you can get like two or three, whatever which one. Um, yeah, just whatever which one. For the right path, you get times two, of course, for silver. Times two for um, seven, seven for metals. Um, you get a rainbow chance of um, five bronze or fourteen silver for super. Um, I say Z hard for super. Um, with the stages R can be kind of difficult, car R and can be kind of really difficult. The path you get times two for gold, um, five, um, five times two for, um, for gold, for the battles of five. You get times two, of course, the path for, on the right side, you get times, for, times five for rainbow. For rainbow, it has a chance to be gold, or, of course, for a question mark, it has a chance to be gold, or so. Yeah, a lot of people don't really need that or whatever, though. So, again, I just got, like, mad, mad confused right there, though. See, those are the stages. Again, the stages came... The first Z-Hard is, like... Z-Hard is pretty much a joke. It's, like, one or two half bars. And when it gets, like, I think Z-Hard... I think it's, like, three, but they go down pretty easy. It might be. I think it's just, like, one big health bar. I can't remember. Easy areas, they all kind of start with some health bar for Z-Hard. Yeah, Z-Hard is a joke. Just make it just too perfect because you do need those rainbow, metal, rainbow and gold medals. It's just going to be really difficult. You got to just keep doing those stages over and over until you get 30 because it's 15... 14, um, no, it's 15, 40, 30 for rainbow and gold, so for bronze, it's always been 15, every easy does that, for silver, it will be 40, this is probably the most out of them, and of course, the last one, it will be 25, um, yeah, it'll be, um, it's 25, 30, for gold and rainbow, no matter what, every easy has been like that, if it in the future, we'll make it more easy, so probably gonna be out of here, like, maybe, um, maybe it's physical free play hit, or, um, accidentally open the list right here, um, oh yeah, but by the way, how to unlock it, you do have to do the Dragon Ball Super Stage for Universe 6. It's basically the whole story between Universe 6 and Universe 7, the whole fight and everything. Universe 6 for 7 art, fight and stuff like that, including hit, you know, Kappa, all that stuff, of course. 
Um, you have to do every stage of normal and the hard, hard, whatever stage you need to do, all of them. Even this one right here. I know it's gonna be like the other universe stage, I think. Um, but that one I feel like is kind of a little bit ish new because it was like made like last year. I think it's been in the game for a couple of years. They got it, they can kind of know what they're doing. Uh, this one is from, of course, the Dark Muscle Reunion versus the Vile Saga. This is from the, um, this is like the, like the second or third stage. I can't remember. They all kind of feel similar. It's like the same ish. Um, but yeah, that's the stage for this one, of course. And you had to do both of them every stage. You cannot be like, oh, well, I'm going to do all one and call it a day. No, you had to do both of them. And of course, right here is all the, um, you need to do for the area. Pretty simple, pretty easy, like I said. Um, First is Kava, so you can probably use the other yeah, bottles gonna be insane. It will probably be good again. Like Kill Cliff right here, Kale of course gonna be pretty good, probably for the first stage. The second stage, of course, is what I think yeah, you can use hit, these two. That's one of the GO units, but the last stage is gonna be Kale, so physical. You got a couple on here. Hitman at least the best, but yeah, I think it's like universe for Ball Saga and like Turner Power and stuff like that. So turn my power again, they pretty much all have the like they're gonna link well. Um but yeah, even combining it like this, kill like the, the, the ooh, bring this cliff. If you have a chance, bring this cliff for every stage because for every piercing and universe through bubble cycle unit, she can she basically dodges 100% of the time. So she's gonna dodge no matter what, and you can save yourself a lot of damage. Kill's gonna be really over stacking, but it won't be in you know, probably that long. But if you are, you can use that unit. You, you, you can use these two, they want you to use it every unit beforehand, um, you know, as you do the stages and stuff like that. Um, hit just guys awakening on JP, though, of course, makes sense. Um, so, I think the next World Tournament, I think Global, again, it's way Global World Tournaments, but they'll probably get this hit Awakening. If they don't, before the ZZA comes out, which they, they will do at the same time. Because uh, it's hit Titan um, Awakening for um, World Tournament, there's a Curly Lab on JP, I think it's like the 41st World Tournament. I made a whole video for it, somewhere, it's going to be the above or somewhere around me. Um, yeah, this hit will be, um, I'm trying to think of it, this hit is going to be the Awakening for that World Tournament. Um, again, it's probably like, no one's gonna ever have these guys. If you like, you're a player, even a water player, I, I, I don't even have them. Like, that's how crazy it is. I don't even have them at all. Um, again, yeah, Tap Bader's never really come around anymore, though. It's really sad, but again, um, a lot of people are not gonna have these units, but they're, I guess, pretty okay to have, I guess. I feel like the stage and stuff like that. Again, every and all these units are actually really good, though. I think they did a really good job again, for some of the and free to play. A lot more summonable here, because I know a lot of people are gonna have everybody on here, though. Like, basically, these two, because they're free, free to play World Tournament Couple. It's gonna be kind of hard, and you're not gonna have these guys at all. So, just just kind of be careful about that, though. But yeah, again, just you just got your ZA. You're really good. Like these two are really good. These two are really good. I guess it's gonna take a little while for them to stack, though. But they're gonna be pretty good. Again, hit like all these older characters are gonna be pretty okay in these ZAs. I feel like just reviving, like getting tunes back up. Anyway, and these ZA areas are actually still pretty solid. Though, of okay, I'm thinking it's of course going to go for them. So they go for Crystal first, of course. So he does rapper growth, naturally does rapper growth, key three, everything up 77%. Pretty solid. Or STR types key three, everything up 50%. Not bad. Our uh, super tech is um, three damage and to Emmy and raise defense up for by 30% for three times. Not bad. So she does attack defense, puts on 30% up to 160. Insane. Our medium hits, of course, being attacks, but super attacks up to 60 percent for every um, basic universal that follows like you know, on the team. Um, she gets um Kagura out of the team. She gets 70 percent um 70% attack when there is a character who has kill on the same team as well. Um unless she's just no attack that's maybe chance to become a super attack if ally uh, who has same turn. Who uh, basically uh, kills in the same turn and stuff like that. So yeah, again, this is basically what she did before. We actually put a sticker effect sticker effect on her now. I guess I'm curious to see that. I've been kinda of curious for a really long time. I would probably make ETA tags for um for a global already. So when as soon as the units get easy, it's confirmed it's like are you gonna put my ETA tags like have them ready to awaken but they come out of the global. Again, for global probably like next year though, so don't really rush yourself. Probably like what? Maybe like maybe February probably. Not March. Could do that same day. Maybe like April. I don't even know. So um but same but I gotta remember because I think I know Ultimate Gone's time it wasn't whatever. But yeah, um I think we can get Ultimate Gohan confused with the tech one because he came out for global right after the down celebration. I'm getting that confused. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> and yeah, it works. We had Gohan both times last year, this year, last year. <laughs> really crazy. But yeah, I think what she did before just a little bit update. Again, nothing crazy, nothing, you know, just again, a little bit more um, attack, a lot more attack, a lot more defense, stuff like that. Um, for every user versus Bob Sucking, and of course, the killing team. Again, you could pretty much build that team with the rubber gun team. If you, have, if you don't really have that many options, you can pretty much just start there. Of course, um, Kale does um, full power three, everything up to 70%. Solid. 
or in type key 3, everything but 50% accuracy rates, her attack for one turn, plus 50% the enemy and lower defense. So she does attack defense plus 120 per passive. When there's a, um, when, uh, when she gets over attack, um, two universal, universal above side category odds give plus two key attack defense plus 30%, plus uh, defense 70, plus defense goes up 70, 70%. If whoever, if she has a KO, no clues while attacking on, um, a clues on the team. And all, all allies get one key and attack defense plus and attack and attack defense. Okay, one key and attack defense and a beat and a chance to put a crit. The ally is attacking the same turn. So pretty much like yeah, clues like attack the same turn and stuff like that. Um Yeah, again they update her a lot though, because she pretty much was support yeah, now she I feel like now she can do a little bit more than she did before. I feel like she's gonna maybe age better than Cliff like and Cliff is just gonna be like an age or age pretty much though. But overall though, Kale again is really good support unit when she first came out. Again, you really don't have any more options. You can still run these guys, they'll probably be on some mobile level nowadays. Like every few players is pretty much better as better than these all some mobile units nowadays though. But um not better actually. Um again, like she now she just gets crit and um if you have of course close attack in the same turn. Again, you can make make all these all these guys, so it's pretty easy. Team again, it's pretty easy. Again, they're plus the same name update. You may not count later for characters linking against each other, but you're still good pretty much like see so you have for this already though. Again, it's easy really it's really easy to build this team like PSNs or Universe Six, especially Universe Six. That team got a lot. Basically with Kelly goes um Kefla's um, you know, new easy and stuff like that. On Scap, of course the last unit. So he does Matthew and Bond category key three, everything up seventy seven percent. Solid, or I saw that. But tech type key three, everything up fifty percent. So we attack effect is um defense for one turn. Um, raise, yeah, raise defense up for one turn, supreme damage to, to enemy and um, allies defense goes up by 30% for one turn. Okay, that's pretty good, helping out your allies a little bit more. So yeah, him and the, oh, him and Kelly were really good together, because they're pretty much kind of like support units here. So he, now he does attack defense plus 120, he's going to super attack, and then it's another attack defense when they um, having a, another attack defense, and having, another chance, and having a chance to do a crit up to 49% for every universal level, like a category ally on the team, plus additional attack plus 20%. 70% and there's a um, Pearson category ally attacking the same turn. So he's pretty much like Kevin Cliff and Caban though, because all of them basically have that. They're pretty much what they did before, because Kevin, he had like he had all this before pretty much, because I just got some of that obviously. But um, they're pretty much um, all we're doing what they did before, just now they have to have a uniform spell side category, or you know, whatever character like, you know, Cliff and his Kale and um, Kale and vice versa. And um, Cliff, yeah, Cliff is a KO and vice versa. And Cowboy basically needs to be uh, um, a piercing unit, pretty much. Again, you can, just have the game there. And the team just got a major buff with the new Super Vegeta, and you can run him. Like, again, any Vegeta, again, like Super Vegeta, uh, the LR, and two ones from the anniversary, um, Evolution Blue. Again, they're all going to be pretty much good together, though, with them. So, again, there's so many teams. Again, you can pretty much run them all on the same team, um, have a lot of just, like, support characters with Prayer Saiyans and stuff like that. Again, they're all insane, pretty much. So, yeah, again, they pretty much did all the all what they did before, just updated a little bit, and of course, you know, for them, they need like an ally or whatever. Again, like for Kale, you need Cleveland and vice versa. Um, and for Cabo, basically, you need a same unit. Again, you can run him. I don't think you run the, like both of them on the same team, though, because they're both of the same name, so. Um, it, I think. I don't think you run, yeah, because I think, to be honest, yeah, you can't have like, you know, like the new Duck first Kale Cleveland and they all like Kale Cleveland on the same team, same name. So yeah, you gotta run him. I, I, you can run the int one, of course, but if you don't have any more options, you can run this guy. Again, really good update. Again, lots of easy area for Dell Celebration is weird. Because you have that and you have this. It's, it's the same thing with the LR Goku and Vegeta. That's the problem with them is that they suck. Compared to Gohan, I'm not joking, like, compared to Gohan and Krillin, they suck. Like, like what were they thinking? Now we come here again. They make, like, Goku and Frieza. This has to be the same team that make Goku and Frieza pretty much. Um, but they're all pretty much the same, though. Same or different, you know. Typical stuff though, so yeah, pretty much have everything we're say there. All pretty solid stuff again, they pretty much all the same unit to have like, you know, Kelly needs Coin Flow, vice versa, Calvin needs a piercing unit. Simple, easy, straight to the point. See you guys there though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, great life. Oh quick take Kindle, be sure, stay safe, wash your hands. God bless all of you ever going out by your mask. Toilet paper is really, really neat out. So what you got to think about all this info? Of course you like it, you hate it. Of course though, oh, yeah. Crack, crack my neck. Yeah, that was actually really good. So we got to think about all this info. Of course, you like it, you hate it. I think it's all simple, easy, straight to the point. It's kind of hard to keep my voice down because everybody's wants me to sleep in my house and I'm about to be this loud. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, head up to bed and the videos. So yeah, great video. Should be up in, you know, a couple more hours, a couple more days. See you guys later. Though. No. Peace out.